Today, I'll be showing you how to make an incredible blueberry crumble cake that everyone will love. This recipe begins with a classic vanilla blueberry cake and finished with a crunchy cookie crumble on top. All you really need are some pantry staples, brown sugar, and blueberries to make this. Welcome back, my name is Daniel here to show you simplified recipes that are easy to follow using common ingredients. If you're new to this channel, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes that your friends and family will love. Now let's get started on this super easy blueberry crumble cake. For the crumble topping, melt two tablespoons of butter. Then add a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, which is optional. Stir everything together until combined and it turns into a brown paste like you see here. Add in one third of a cup of all-purpose flour and stir it in until it all disappears into the mixture. Using the edge of a spoon, cut into the topping until it resembles a coarse crumb texture. Then set it aside while we make the cake. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit now because this cake comes together very fast. Add two cups of all-purpose flour into a bowl, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Whisk these dry ingredients together until well combined. Then set it aside. In another large bowl, you'll need four tablespoons of softened butter. Add two thirds of a cup of white sugar to this and cream it together until pale and fluffy. This step adds great lightness to the cake because tiny air bubbles are being whipped into the butter. I overwarmed the butter slightly here. Remember, you just want it softened, not melted. Crack in one egg and add half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Whisk everything together very well. It should come together quite easily after some vigorous mixing and be relatively smooth in texture and pale yellow in color. Then add the dry ingredients and half a cup of milk total in two parts. Gently mix the batter together until just combined because overmixing will promote gluten development and make the cake chewy and tough. I also switched to a spatula to finish the mixing because it's easier than the whisk to handle as the batter gets thicker. You'll need one and a half cups of blueberries for this cake. If you are using frozen like I am, rinse them under cold water to remove as much of the liquid as you can so the cake does not turn completely purple. If using fresh blueberries, you won't have this issue, but you may want to coat them in a little flour if they are sinking to the bottom while baking. Add the blueberries into the cake batter and fold them in gently, being careful not to burst them. Pour the batter into a greased parchment lined 9x9 9 9 inch square pan and spread it evenly into the corners. Then, scatter the cookie crumble topping we made from earlier all over the top evenly. Now it's ready to bake. Bake the cake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or until it's golden brown on top.
You can also do a toothpick test and if it comes out clean, it's done. Let it cool for a couple minutes before transferring to a wire rack or serving plate. It's best served warm or at room temperature. And there you have it, a delicious blueberry crumble cake that is perfect for any occasion and is so simple and easy to make. It's got great contrast and flavor and texture from the tart, juicy blueberries and the sweet, crunchy topping. Hope you enjoy! All right, everyone, it is time for the taste test. I'm so excited because this cake looks amazing. Here goes the first bite. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. I'm gonna go right in for a second bite because it is seriously good. Mm. Yes. This is like a classic cake recipe. It's a classic white cake with blueberries that just add that nice tartness to it to cut through the sweetness. You got that beautiful, wonderful crumble texture on top. And you also have that additional sweetness of that brown sugar in there. You can see it's nice and white inside. Uh, and then you have these blueberries in between that just adds a gorgeous contrast in color. The cake itself is also very soft and fluffy and moist and that is a perfect contrast to that top which is a little bit crunchy. What you want from a crumble topping. I can't believe I haven't made this crumble topping more. I know I made it previously in my apple sour cream cake um, but it goes terrific on this cake as well. I would also suggest making double the amount of the topping so it completely covers the top of the cake. That is gonna be so impressive and gorgeous when you serve it like that. I just wanted to keep things a little bit healthier, cut down on the butter and the sugar a little bit for my tastes, but hey, if you're having a party and you're serving guests, go big or go home, right? And you can make this crumble topping and put it on whatever baked good you like. You can put it on cakes, you can put it on muffins. I absolutely love this cake, I hope you try this recipe out. It's so good. Your friends and family will absolutely love this recipe as well. And as always, if you like this recipe, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what kind of cake you want to see me try next. And remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes. I will see everyone soon. Till next time. Bye everyone.